I have an interview in the upcoming weeks and uh, I need to prepare in such a way that all of my interview are getting clear. So these are the things which I am following right now where I am going to 100% clear any kind of DevOps and SR interview with my notes and with these interview questions which I am doing in this way. So make sure you get all these interview questions in this video and prepare accordingly for your upcoming interviews. So let's get started guys. Now I have the handbook with me with all the real time interview experience scenarios and troubleshooting questions in this document. So make sure you comment down DevOps and 300 plus likes. This entire document will be with you and make sure to take the printout in such a way that all the four pages comes in a single page. So let's get started in some of the very important interview questions that I'm going to tell you. So very basic, we will start and slowly we will go into the advanced state. What is DevOps and why it is important? As you all know, don't give the textbook answers. Make sure you tell in such a way that DevOps is kind of a process or the tech stack where different kinds of tools are integrated to make sure the ease of the development teams or any kind of automations that are required for the development teams are done within the stipulated time. At the same time, any kind of thing which is going to the production is also done in the stipulated time with minimal efforts. DevOps is all about making the things in a simpler manner and telling the opposite person uh, in such a way that boss, these are the things which are helping you the best in less efforts and less amount. So in such way, in the real time, you have to tell. Can you explain the difference between Agile and DevOps? So obviously, Agile is a process where uh, you can understand like where you are delivering the things in a quicker way. And for DevOps, the Agile is needed. So if you see Jira dashboards, if you see the people working in the real time, uh, they track all the efforts of the team in Jira dashboard. So basically you are assigning a person with some kind of uh, tasks. Okay. And that task takes one day, two day, three day. You tell to that person, okay, boss, take three days of time and complete this task. Take two days of time, complete this particular task. So that is called, called Agile and the process through which you complete the task or the tools that you use to complete the task are all coming under the DevOps, which helps the development and the operations to go in a smooth way. So the next uh, question uh, comes in such a way, what are the key, key principles of DevOps? You, you need to tell automation, collaboration, monitoring and feedback, infrastructure, support, culture of improvement. How do continuous integration, continuous deployment to work together in DevOps environment? So continuous integration, continuous deployment or uh, de deployment or delivery uh, goes hand in hand. So whatever the CI/CD pipeline, as I always tell, the DevOps roadmap works with Git, uh, CI/CD, Docker, Jenkins, right? And then your uh, Kubernetes, then Ansible, Terraform, uh, any kind of cloud, automations, Python, shell scripting, uh, deployments, databases, uh, NoSQL, MySQL, any kind of databases, automations, REST API automations, architectures, SRE, uh, troubleshooting activities, on-call activities, production support, these all plays an important role for any kind of uh, DevOps and SRE engineers. What challenges did you face in implementing DevOps in your previous project? So that is one of the real time question and app. Uh, and in this document, uh, you will have everything clear, cultural assistance, tools integration, definitely skill gaps were there. How you did you improve infrastructure complexity, security concerns and everything plays an important role. Version control. What are the benefits of using version control systems like Git? So you need to tell collaborations, taking tracking changes, branching and merging, backup, version history, code review. How do you resolve Git conflicts? So very, very important. So many a times this kind of questions the people ask in the interview. So you need to tell, identify the conflict, edit the file, mark as resolved and continue uh, the operation. So you see step by step process has been given in this document. So make sure uh, you are going over this document. What is rebase and how do you use it instead of merging? So I, I, as usual, Git rebase and Git merge. These are the two important things which in every interview are. So very good uh, things have been play, placed here. Can you explain the Git branching strategy example, Git flow trunk based development? So again, uh, one of the important thing, how do you integrate GitHub with CI CD tools? As I always tell you have a Jenkins with you. This Jenkins is integrated with GitHub with the webhook. Okay. So make sure you tell the answer in the interview. The webhook plays an important role between the merging of the GitHub and the Jenkins. So make sure you do that. All right. 
and uh, GitHub Actions. What are GitHub Actions? How do they work? So GitHub Action is again a CI CD concept which is developed by GitHub. So you can tell by seeing this document. How do you create a GitHub Action Flow? To create a GitHub Action Flow or a GitHub uh, or a GitLab Action Flow, you need to make sure you create a YAML file. Push that YAML file, write the workflow, set the tasks, make the triggers and execute the scripts. What are the runners in GitHub Actions? GitHub and GitLab works same. So runners are nothing but the servers where your script of YAML file will run. Argo CD, what is Argo CD? What are the key components of Argo CD? How do you perform application synchronization in Argo CD? I have given every project in my YouTube channel, so you can check definitely uh, on my channel, different kinds of projects are there which are going to help you in understanding how to answer any kind of real time questions. CI CD, how do you design CI CD for a project? So code commit, build, testing, static code analysis, package, artifact creation, artifact storage, deployment approval gates these all things works in the real time also and to be honest in walmart uh, these are the things which i have worked so that's why i am able to tell you in a proper way what tools you have used for ci cd and why did you choose them example gitlab circle ci uh, gitlab ci on you know, all those things what are artifacts how do you manage artifacts are nothing but the files which are generated by some tool for example you have a java code you put maven on that this java code of 10 gb is converted into a small file that is called you can call it as artifactory binary or any kind of static file which you place in the jfrog or nexus kind of an artifact okay docker images zip packages binary artifact management how do you store the artifactories how do you version the artifactories how do you what are the retention policies how do you handle rollbacks in case of failed deployment very interesting the rollbacks play an important role. Can we all broke in deployment, automated rollback triggers infrastructure as a code. Uh, you use Terraform for rolling out, rolling back the things, or you use automated trigger, or you use uh, Canary or Blue Green deployment in any kind of organization. Mostly we go with the Kubernetes deployments and we use Canary uh, mostly in 100, uh, maybe 90% of the cases we go with the Canary deployments. Or what is Docker? How, do, how does it differ from virtual machines? So very, very important. Docker is kind of a platform which uses the virtual uh, virtualization concept and it gives uh, you various kinds of uh, internal machines for free. For example, you are taking a Linux box in that you install Docker. So this is the Linux box. This is the Docker. This Docker has the capability to create small Linux machines of five based on the CPU and the memory given by the host machine. So very, very interesting, right? Performance, isolation, resource efficiency. These all are advantages of Docker. How do you create and manage the Docker image and containers? Again, some questions. Uh, so very simple, uh, write a Docker file. Uh, how do you write a Docker file? How do you create a Docker file? Everything is given as the steps. So make sure you go through that, All right? Uh, run the container. How do you optimize Docker images for production? Very, very important. This this question is asked mostly in uh, real time scenarios. So you, you can leverage the same thing which is given. What is Kubernetes? How does it help in container orchestration? So you have to tell uh, Kubernetes scaling, load balancing, self healing, automated rollouts and rollbacks resource management okay explain how you have set up the kubernetes cluster one of the interesting question where many of the devops and sre uh, interviewers ask this question you can tell you have done the same thing in the cloud or you can tell you have done the same thing in the uh, in the on premise setup nodes install networking plugin deploy applications and there are some applic there are some examples also which can help you you see calico.yaml file right so for every command you can see there are some uh, add-on parameters which can help you in understanding okay how the things are working what are kubernetes services and how do they differ from prods okay services are something which actually helps the pods in getting the traffic from the uh, ingress or something so let's say ingress is there ingress service and pods ingress will route the traffic to the service service will route the traffic to the pod and uh, everything combined makes your traffic flow work so make sure you see this and there is this example of service yaml file api version api version kind metadata and spec very very important so i always tell the four rule theory in my prime batch so it will help you uh, what is kubernetes kubernetes examples how does kubernetes handle storage how does Kubernetes uh, application take the external traffic, which I have discussed? Kubernetes architecture, control plane, worker nodes. What is the role of Kubernetes API server? What is uh, Kubelet? Edge CD, pod in Kubernetes, Calico file, role of control manager. What is the role of Kube proxy? Namespace in Kubernetes. What is the function of cloud control manager? What is the significance of a Kubernetes cluster? Now, Terraform, very, very important questions. What is infrastructure as a code and how does it give the benefit in DevOps environment? 
how do you manage cloud infrastructure with terraform can you explain the difference between terraform and ansible how do you handle versioning and infrastructure as a code right uh, what challenges did you face with configuration management tools very very important and uh, cloud computing aws different kinds of uh, scenario based questions are there again so these all things will help you in understanding the deeper level of uh, uh, you can say like <laughs> understanding for example i will give you a small example okay how does the jenkins handle parallel executions of jobs this also plays an important role so you have to simply see the code which is given here groovy stage parallel execution write the parallel block if you are able to see write the parallel block and that's it put the two stages under the parallel block and that's how you have to write the code so this document is definitely going to be a uh, you can say like a, a prep, prep material before you go for an interview so make sure you do this take the print out of this document which i'm going to share as uh, four pages as a single page so that okay if even though you are giving the interview you can see okay there's 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 some commands or something which is going to help you at least to pass the interview uh, for few levels i hope you have liked the video so make sure you like this video and share this channel link with your friends and subscribe to the channel and don't miss to study hard to get a devops job because no one is going to help you you yourself has to stand on your feet and make yourself and your family name proud okay this is praveen signing off from this video for more such videos you can check on my youtube channel i have shared all the different kinds of scenarios interview questions documents my notes everything here so what are you waiting for prepare yourself the best and crack the good job this is praveen signing off from this video meet you in the next video until then take care bye